The Top 10 Best Crime Series Are you finding yourself in the mood for murder most foul? Well, we have you covered with our list of the best crime series on Netflix. Hey guys, welcome to Netflix Tops, your entertainment channel where we will inform you about the best Netflix movies and TV shows and inspire you to subscribe for more fantastic videos. The top 10 best crime series that had us hooked are listed in this video below. So grab some popcorn and stick around till the end. Now let's get started. Number 10, Clark. At a time when true crime stories and biopics of criminals are a dime a dozen, Clark is a standout in the genre. The Swedish series is a portrait and biography of Clark Olofsson, a con man and thief whose actions during the normal storm robbery in the 1970s led to the origins of the term Stockholm Syndrome. But that's just a footnote in the colorful story of this man. Through one of the best performances Bill Skarsgård has ever given, we see Clark's story unravel from birth to imprisonment to escape and more. It helps that the series is tightly written and absolutely hilarious, but what really makes this an engaging watch is the incongruence between what Clark thinks his life is like and what we can see the reality is. The show is narrated from the POV of its protagonist, with plenty of fourth wall breaks that add to the humor. But Skarsgård's Clark Olofsson is the ultimate unrelatable narrator, only ever revealing what he wants you to know. As charming as the character might be, the show leaves no doubt in the audience's mind that Clark is an irredeemable sociopath, one who has been given every opportunity to change his ways, but still insists on being a callous, self-absorbed creature driven only by his lust and greed. Number 9. Narcos Narcos was one of Netflix's first major hit shows, premiering in 2015. The series charts the rise and ultimate downfall of Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar and the DEA agents who helped bring him down, Steve Murphy and Javier Pena. While viewers likely know the fate of the central character going in, that doesn't stop the series from being one of the most riveting, exciting, and addicting originals Netflix has ever released. A companion series, Narcos Mexico, was released in 2018 and, like its predecessor, also lasted three seasons. Number 8. Good Girls what do you do when it feels like the whole world is against you? Rob a grocery store, apparently. Good Girls is a crime comedy drama that first aired on NBC for four seasons. The show follows the lives of three suburban moms who are struggling to make ends meet. As pressures both financially and emotional pile up, the trio decides to rob a grocery store. But this is no straightforward heist series, oh no. As it turns out, the money they stole belongs to a violent street gang, and things soon snowball into chaos. The three lead actors are excellent in the show, and Christina Hendricks, in particular, is a delight to watch. With a well-balanced mix of laughter and tears, Good Girls is the perfect watch for when you want a crime series with a healthy dose of humor. Number 7. Money Heist Possibly one of Netflix's most successful shows ever, Money Heist is a crime drama that revolves around two heists and an eternal endearing cast of characters. Those characters are a huge part of why Money Heist has managed to find fans around the world. From the badass protagonist, Tokyo, to the genius master criminal known as The Professor, each person in this story presents a sincere, multi-layered story. But of course, the real reason we love Money Heist so much is because of the exciting game of cat and mouse that is involved in the show's ambitious heists. Set in Madrid, the story follows The Professor as he brings together a group of eight people to break into the Royal Mint of Spain, take 67 people hostage, and execute an intricate plan with life and death hanging in the balance. After the first season, the crew returns for an even more daring robbery with higher stakes than ever before. It doesn't get much better than this. Number 6. Who Killed Sarah? Netflix's collection of Spanish-language content boasts quite a few great thrillers, and Who Killed Sarah is one of the best of them. Alex Guzman is a former convict who spent 18 years in prison after being falsely convicted for his sister Sarah's murder. Devoted to getting revenge for her death and his subsequent imprisonment, Guzman looks for the truth about the incident. In the process, he comes into conflict with the wealthy Lascano family. The show has its issues, but this hit Mexican drama is a very engaging watch, especially if you're in the mood for a good revenge thriller. Number 5. Unbelievable Set in two different countries, Unbelievable is based on the true story of two police detectives chasing after a serial rapist who has terrorized women in both their state of Colorado and also in Washington. A difficult show to watch at times, we follow now only these two detectives, but the story of Mary Alder, Caitlin Dever, a survivor of sexual assault who is believed to be lying about her rape. The police, who think she's just crying wolf, let the monster slip through their fingers to terrorize more victims. In a field dominated by men, it is Detective Rasmussen, Tony Collette, and Duval, Merritt Weaver, who crack the case. The approach both Collette and Weaver take to their characters emulate confidence, empathy, and a hard-boiled nature. 
entrancing to watch. It's easy to root for these detectives to get justice for these women. Number four, Elite. Elite gets your heart racing from start to finish, never letting the tension break even for a second, about a group of students from an upper-class school in Spain who get entangled in a murder. Elite bets on the mystery of who done it and the relationships to bring you back, and it does. Sometimes being larger than life pays off, and it does more often than not for Elite. With a new mystery every season, Elite shocks at every turn, and while it might sometimes get lost in ambition, it is over-the-top television at its best and one of the easiest shows to lose yourself in. Number 3. Peaky Blinders Peaky Blinders is historical fiction at its finest. The BBC crime drama takes a fictionalized approach to the story of the titular real-life gang, which was active in England from 1890 to the 1910s. The show begins in 1919, just after the First World War. After the blinders accidentally come across a consignment of guns and choose to steal them, the government sends a detective to find the thieves and recover the weapons. The first season focuses on the plot of the weapons and the investigation into the blinders' activities. Later seasons push their story to new heights, bringing in more historical figures and tying into important events. Cillian Murphy stars as Tommy Shelby, the charismatic and ruthless leader of the Peaky Blinders, delivering a brilliant performance that combines a cold, calculating exterior with a sense of hidden ferocity. Peaky Blinders is easily one of Murphy's most memorable performances, but the series also features a number of great actors in both main and recurring roles. Number 2. The Sinner Based on Petra Hamsfar's 1999 novel of the same name, The Sinner is an anthology mystery series that has received widespread acclaim over the course of its four seasons. The show follows the cases of Detective Harry Ambrose, Bill Pullman, a police officer who finds himself investigating cases that involve seemingly unlikely criminals and buried motivations. It's a dark and gritty series that first aired on the USA Network with three seasons on Netflix. The fourth and final season of the show aired on the USA Network from October 13, 2021 to December 1, 2021. Each season consists of eight episodes exploring a single complex crime, with a cast of celebrated actors portraying the main players in each case. The Sinner is by far one of the best shows on Netflix and certainly worth checking out for crime drama fans. Number 1. Ozark One of Netflix's most successful crime shows, Ozark, stars Jason Bateman and Laura Leaney as a married couple who get involved in the dangerous business of money laundering. After a deal with a Mexican drug cartel goes south, Financial advisor Marty Bride, Jason Bateman, offers to set up a money laundering operation in the lake of the Ozarks region in central Missouri. He relocates there with his wife, Wendy, Laura Lini, and their two kids. But soon, Marty and Wendy find themselves drawn into the affairs of the local underworld, which makes their already tense situation even more complicated. Ozark has received a lot of critical praise and has been nominated for tons of awards, with both Jason Bateman and Julia Garner winning Emmys for their performances. The show's final season, season 4, was released on Netflix in 2022. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.